What if I told you that you could grow your business faster than your competition by specializing in birth photography? By the end of this video, you're going to learn the three reasons why birth photography is the key ingredient to the success of your photography studio. Hey y'all, my name is Tavia and I train birth photographers on how to run successful businesses. Each and every week on this channel, I release a brand new video that's going to help you grow your birth photography business. So make sure and click subscribe and that little bell below because it's gonna notify you every time there is a brand new video. I wanna ask you a question. Have you ever heard the phrase, the riches are in the niches? Meaning when you niche down in your business, you'll get more clients and make more money. A lot of photographers have believed the lie that they have to shoot anything and everything to make a full-time income with their photography studio. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like you have to shoot every single type of session or inquiry that comes your way? I mean, I definitely used to feel that way, so no shame, but when your inbox dings and it's, someone inquiring for a type of session that you don't currently offer, are you scrambling trying to figure out a way to make it work or do you tell them no, that's not a type of session that you shoot? Here's the thing, it takes a lot of time to shoot a session type that we don't normally shoot. So let's say that you get an inquiry for a senior session and your books are really slow and you're thinking, I think I'm gonna just take this senior because I really need the money. Okay, like I said, I've definitely done that before. So no shame whatsoever. But the thing is, then you have to come up with all new pricing. You have to figure out where you're gonna shoot this session and how you're gonna pose these seniors. Like it's something that you're just not used to doing. And so it takes a lot of extra time for us to figure out how to do those types of sessions. And all that time that you're spending working on figuring out how to to do that type of session, where the location should be, how much you should charge, asking in Facebook groups. All that time is time that you could be spending working on what you actually wanna shoot, what you actually wanna specialize in. Once I realized the time that I was wasting by doing these types of sessions, I started saying no a lot more often. And I realized that niching down is the key to success and the riches really are in the niches. So maybe you're here because you're trying to decide if birth photography is right for your business. Or maybe you've been a photographer for a a while now, but you feel like maybe by niching down and specializing in something like birth photography, it's gonna help your studio grow. Spoiler alert, I totally agree. So in today's video, I am going to show you exactly how birth photography can be the key to your studio's success. But before we dive in, I wanna make sure that you know about my brand new course that is opening up for enrollment soon. Inside the course, we're going to learn everything that it takes to be a birth photographer, everything from how to behave at the birth, how to get the shot, editing, and so, so, so much more. It's basically like a doula certification training meets photography course. I am so, so, so excited about it. If that sounds like something that you need or want, make sure and join the wait list because the course is open to a limited number of people this first go round and people on the wait list will be notified first. So the wait list will pop up on this screen as well as in the description below. I would love to have you there. Okay, now let's talk all about how birth photography will grow your business faster than any other genre. Number one, your birth clients are clients for life. You have experienced something so intimate and personal together now, you are going to be their photographer for life. My birth clients use me nine times out of 10 for newborn family sessions. They go on to use me forever and ever. And so securing them as a birth client almost guarantees that they're going to hire me for later sessions. My clients consider me part of their birth team. When they think back on their baby's birthday, they remember me. I am a part of that memory. So it's easier for them to talk about me, it's easier for them to refer friends to me because we've shared such an intimate moment together. So these birth clients are going to be clients for life. From a business standpoint, like I kind of just mentioned, a birth photography client is amazing because it's so much easier to upsell them on different types of sessions. So once they've booked you as their birth photographer, you can then upsell them on a maternity session or a newborn session, later on maybe baby milestone sessions or family sessions. It's kind of like a wedding. Like once you get them in for that big event, you can then sell them on other types of sessions. So the first reason that birth photography will grow your photography business faster than your competition and faster than any other genre is that birth photography connects you to your clients in a way that no other genre of photography can and they will be your clients for life. The second way that birth photography will grow your business faster than any other genre is birth photography is 
new. Now, if you're watching this, you might think Tavia birth photography is not that new, like it's been around for a while. But trust me, it's because you're immersed in it. It's because you're learning about it. It's because you love birth photography. To the general public, birth photography is still really, really new. So the benefit for you is jumping in early because there's still not a lot of competition. The sooner that you can be known as the birth photographer in your area, the better. Think about how many wedding photographers there are in your area compared to birth photography. Guys, birth photography is the new wedding photography. People are going to start hiring a birth photographer for their baby's birth more and more and more. Birth photography has had such massive growth in the seven years that I've been photographing birth, especially the last two to three years, and it continues to grow. So no matter when you're watching this video, now is the time to get in with birth photography and become the expert on birth photography in your area because it really is still so, so new. Another cool way to look at it is like, we talked about it being similar to wedding photography, but just like a couple wants their wedding photographer to shoot engagements and bridals and boudoir and all those extra little sessions, it's the same for you as their birth photographer. You'll become their go-to for family photography before and after the baby is born. So because it's so, so new, and I know it doesn't feel new and it might not feel new to you, but I guarantee you in the world of photography and the genre of photography in general, birth photography is in its infant stages and it's just continuing to get bigger and bigger. So now is the time to jump in while it's still fresh and new. So I want you to drop a comment below and tell me, what do you think about specializing in birth photography? Does specializing sound exciting or does it sound kind of scary? Are you worried if people will book you if you specialize or is it hashtag goals? Like I would love to specialize in birth photography. Drop a comment below and tell me. The third and final way that birth photography will grow your business faster than any other genre is because birth photography naturally gets a lot of attention. So let me back it up a little bit and tell you about when when I first started photography in 2009, I would shoot anything and everything. Seniors, weddings, babies, families, headshots, corporate things, landscape, anything people would pay me money for, I would shoot. And it wasn't until about 2012 that I started to realize how much I loved birth and how much I wanted to specialize in birth photography. And when I made that decision, my business had significant growth. But something started to happen once I made that decision. Once I started sharing more birth images on social media and my website, I started to get a lot of unlikes. I started to get a lot of unfollows. I started to really get some resistance people would say things like, why are you sharing photos of such an intimate moment? Why do people even want photos of this? I was faced with a lot of resistance in the beginning, but I kept going, I kept sharing birth images, and I kept specializing. Because while I did get some pushback, there were a lot of people who loved the birth images and they would tag their friends and they would share the photos on their newsfeed and they would get really, really excited about birth photography. So I had the group of people who really didn't like it and were saying negative things and on following and unliking my page. And then I had the group of people who were obsessed with it, who were sharing the images, who were commenting and all that stuff. That's when I started to realize that by alienating people on purpose, I was simultaneously attracting the people that really, really loved what I was doing, that would talk about me for free, that would share my work for free because I was nailing a stake in the ground. Is that the expression? I don't know. I was like making a point. I was saying, I am a birth photographer. This is who I am. If you don't like me, fine. If you like me, awesome. And I was really, really, really starting to attract people who really liked birth photography and their friends were starting to come too. Because if you compare this to a regular vanilla family image or baby image or something like that, that you share on social media, people like it. It doesn't offend anyone. People are kind of neutral about it and people will keep scrolling, right? So what I'm saying is it's okay to ruffle some feathers. It's okay to get those unlikes and those unfollows because birth photography by itself is naturally going to draw attention. And that is what's so special about it. I can go back and look at social media and I guarantee you the birth images that I've shared would be the most liked, the most commented, the most shared of anything that I share on Facebook or Instagram because it's unique and cool and different. And so it naturally sticks out. And that's a huge benefit to us as photographers who are constantly struggling to be heard above all the noise. People remember Tavia Redburn as a birth photographer because it's unusual. People talk about birth photography because it's different. You're naturally gonna stand out in the crowd and grow faster than your competition by specializing in birth photography. It sounds cliche, but birth photography 
really is so amazing because you get to capture these once in a lifetime moments that are real and raw and authentic and there's no posing and there's none of the trying to get toddlers to behave and any of that stuff. You're just there documenting such an amazing, important day, exactly how it happens. This is why I love birth photography. I know you do too, that's why you're here. Make sure to click that like button below if you like this video and click subscribe so that you get a notification every time I release a new video. Here's the deal. If you love birth photography, there's a reason you love birth photography. I talk to photographers all the time who have zero interest in photographing birth. So if there's something inside of you that loves birth photography, that wants to be a birth photographer, there's a reason for that. And it's because you were meant to be a birth photographer. So get out there and make it happen. Have a great week.